Okay, start with a magic circle. Chain one. Eleven single crochet stitches in the circle. I'm using a yarn under instead of a yarn over to keep the yarn from splitting on me. All right, I have one chain and 11 single crochet stitches. I will now pull on the yarn tail to close the circle and work a needle join in the first single crochet. I cut the yarn, threaded it into a needle, inserted the needle under both top loops of the first single crochet, front to back, pull the yarn through, pull, insert the needle back into the same stitch it's coming out of, back loop only, pull the yarn through, adjust the tension so that all of the stitches match. On the back, weave in the ends. I have finished the back of the flower center. This is the front of the flower center. 12 stitches. Now we'll start the petals with a slip knot on the hook. Insert in any stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull that loop through the first loop to make a slip stitch. Chain eight. I have now made eight chains. Working into the back loops of the chains, slip stitch back to the flower center. We're back to the flower center. One more slip stitch into the same single crochet of the flower center. Next chain one, skip the next stitch and slip stitch in the one after that. Got my stitches a bit tight. Okay, continue doing the same thing to make six spines. I've now worked my six spines I just finished the last slip stitch back into the same single crochet that we started the spine. Normally I would make a chain here, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to use the opportunity to join with a slip stitch into the original slip knot. Spines are finished. Now we will work the flower petals. There are eight chains and eight slip stitches in the spines. To work the first half of the petal, we're going to skip the first chain and start in the second chain. Make a slip stitch in the back loop. All the stitches in this round will be worked in the back loop. The next stitch in the back loop is a single crochet. The next loop or stitch in the back loop is a half double crochet. Double crochet. Oops, we got splitting here. Half double crochet in the next back loop. Let's 
single crochet in the next and slip stitch in the next. Notice I'm using a yarn under instead of a yarn over. I do that when I notice that the yarn is starting to split because that kind of takes the splittiness out of it and puts some twist back into it. All right, so we've worked seven stitches along the first side of the first petal. At the tip, we're going to chain two. Then we're going to work back down the other side of the spine and we're working in one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. We start with slip stitch and we're also working in the back loop, single crochet, half double, double, half double again, single, and slip stitch. That actually makes seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Next thing we do is notice that between the spines there are two stitches. This one and this one. We're going to slip stitch in that one Skip the next two. So we're skipping this stitch and this chain. This is a slip stitch, this is a chain. We're slipping bo skipping both of those and we then go to the back loop of the next stitch and make a slip stitch and continue on doing the same thing for all six spines. I have now completed six petals. The last stitch I made was the slip stitch between the petals. I don't need to join. The next, well actually because I'm going to change colors, in this case I do, so I'm just going to slip stitch and fasten off and weave in the ends. Okay, this is the front of the flower. I have finished the petals. There's the back of the flower. I wove in the ends. Notice the edges of the petals are bumpy, which is attractive if that's what you want. Um, I'm going to show what happens if you add a round of slip stitch in the back loop all around. You can do this in the same color as the petals, but for demonstration purposes, and also because it's fun, I am going to do it with an, a contrasting color. Now when I work slip stitches in the back loop, I do not start with a slip knot on my hook. I just make a loop in the yarn and pull that through. And I'm going to start in the second stitch at the upward uh, movement of the petal, so right there. Now another thing is we can count backwards from the point. There are two chains at the point, and this chain goes with this side, and this chain goes with the other side of the petal. So we need seven stitches along this side, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's how I know where I'm going to pull up the first loop of the edging. So just a slip stitch 
and then the back loop of the next stitch, slip stitch, and there's the chain. So I've now worked seven slip stitches along the edge. Make another point by chaining two and then work down the other side. Slip stitch, back loop. Alright, there's one more stitch left along this side, but we're going to skip that stitch and we are going to notice there are two stitches between the two petals and we're going to do a long slip stitch by going all the way down in that hole that's in round one. Well round one of the orange color or the petal color. It's actually round two. So long slip stitch down there. Then I do the same thing again around this petal starting with that stitch right there. Etc. I've now done the edging around all six petals. I just have one step left and that is to do a needle join. So I'll snip the yarn, pull it out through the last slip stitch there, insert it in the needle, And under both loops of that first slip stitch, and I kind of pulled it too hard and made it disappear, so I'm kind of wiggling it back up out of the fabric. Under both loops, front to back, back into the same stitch it's coming out of. And on the back, tie a knot, and a second knot, and weave in the ends. And there you have the front of the flower. and the back of the flower. Okay, next I'll show you how I add the slip stitch in the back loop edging around the petals. To start, I just make a loop. I don't put a knot on the hook. We need to start in the seventh stitch from the tip. 
The tip has two chain stitches in it. This chain belongs on this side of the petal, and this chain belongs on the other side of the petal. Starting from this chain, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is where we work. We don't work into the first stitch. In the back loop only, insert the hook, yarn over, and pull up a loop. And that is all we do for the first slip stitch. Don't need to chain one. Next stitch, slip stitch in the back loop only. We made seven stitches, but right now all we see are six loops. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the reason why is because when we finish the round, we're going to complete it uh, by doing a needle join in that stitch right there. Chain two. Work down the other side. Four, five, six, and seven. We're skipping this stitch, and then in between the two petals are two other stitches and we're ignoring those and we're instead going to do a long slip stitch down here in round two where we created the spines now to continue we're skipping this stitch of the next petal and starting in this stitch. If you lose your place, start again at the tip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slip stitch in the back loop of seven stitches. Chain two, Stip, slip stitch in the back loop of seven more stitches. Etc. All the way around. I've worked the edging on all the petals. I just have the last stitch to do, which is a needle join. So I'm snipping the yarn. And you know what, on this one, because of the fact that um, it's a slip stitch, I'm going to pull the yarn through that strand so that these two, so that there will be two strands here, just like there are two strands on the other places, then I'm going to do the needle join. <laughs> going under the first slip stitch that we made, both loops, front to back, 
and then into the stitch in the middle. And on the back, tie it in a knot. And another knot. And weave in the ends. Okay, I've finished the back of the flower and the front of the flower. Okay, now it's time for the leaves. With, for the leaves, we start with a slip knot on the hook. We are going to work in the unworked single crochet stitches from round one between the petals and behind the petals. So we need to fold the petals forward and identify where are the unworked, I go over to another one that's a little bit better, the unworked single crochet stitches. There's one. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull through the first loop. We're going to chain 10. One, two, we have 10 chains, and we work in the back of the Back loop of the chains, slip stitch all the way back to the center of the flower, just like we did for the petals. I made 10 chains and I slip stitch in the back loop all the way down, so I have nine slip stitches and I need one more. And for that I go back into the same back loop of the single crochet that we started with. So now I've completed the first spine. Chain one, find the next unworked petal, I mean sorry, unworked single crochet, slip stitch in the back loop, and chain 10 again till you have six spines. I have now completed six spines, all except the joining stitch. And rather than chain one in between spines, I'm just going to join with the original slip knot slip stitch in the original slip knot. Okay, the spines are now complete. We're looking at the back of the flower now, by the way. All right, now let's make the leaves. Continuing with the petals folded forward, we want to skip the first chain of the spine and let's make sure we know where that is. There's the tenth chain here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is the first stitch we want to work. We are skipping the first chain and working in the second chain. And we start in the back loop with a slip stitch. It's being difficult to get into just the back loop. There we go. Slip stitch. The next stitch in the back loop is a single crochet. The next one, half double.
double. And the next one is an extended double in the back loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. That's an extended double crochet. The next stitch, double crochet. Half double crochet. Single crochet. And in the last chain, slip stitch. So we've worked half of the leaf. We're at the tip, chain two, to make a point. Go back down the other side, slip stitch, single crochet, Half double, double, extended double, double. Half double, single, slip stitch, and we do not work into that chain of the spine. And we locate where the chain stitch was from the spine round right there and we're going to slip stitch there. And then we are going to continue on the second spine the same way we did the first spine. So we skip the first chain, and if you forget how to find it, you count backwards from the point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's where we're going to do the next slip stitch. And then up the spine, single half, double, double, extended, double, half, single, and etc. Okay, I've completed all six petals except for the join. The last stitch I worked was the slip stitch in the chain space. And on this round I don't join. I just go right on into slip stitching in the back loop. And actually, let me use a different color to make it more obvious. So I will fasten off here. I will slip stitch one more time and then fasten off and weave in the ends. There you have the back of the flower. I've woven in the ends. I still haven't put the edging on the leaves. You could just leave it like this if you want to, or you could add a contrast in color. And it's done in the same way as the edging round that you did for the petals. Okay, the leaves are all finished now, including the edging. There's the back of the flower. And 
this is usable just the way it is um, if you wanted to make an applique to put it on a blanket or a tote bag or a hat, scarf, cowl, curtains, you name it.